Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's your boy Demi and I'm back with another video man, how y'all doing? In today's video, I'll be comparing Scotty Barnes to Giannis in his first, second, and third year. So if y'all are new, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this video. So, okay, why am I comparing Scotty and both Giannis today? The reason why I'm doing this is because I was basically watching some basketball, and I know many people compare Scotty to Giannis. So, let's do it right here. And many people call, call Scotty Barnes a baby, a baby Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, let's do it here. Alright, so, as, I, as you see here, I'm on the main comparison site for Stat at Basketball. It's like Basketball Reference. Y'all can search up y'all got to do comparisons. Let's put, put here, Scotty Barnes, you only, you only have his first year numbers. And then, um, the next player I can put is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Okay? You have Giannis, and then you have NES Scotty. So, let's get the results here. But honestly, let's compare Giannis in his first season as a rookie to Scotty Barnes' rookie year. It's going to be a bit better, but the numbers will be a bit off. Let's see here. Let's compare Scotty Barnes to his rookie year. It's the same career averages, but let's do it. Alright, you guys are seeing in a per game average the total of the per 36 man stats. I just is shooting the playoff total, so let's break this down. Alright, so the point per game. Scotty Barnes has already gone by a mile because he's a first time rookie. He's on a Raptors, and Giannis was, at, was on a. Rebuilding Bucks team who is kind of rebuilding, so honestly, your numbers aren't going to really pop out a lot. But the rebounding pretty much similar is right there, but Scotty Barnes leads in that, in that area. And then the field goal efficiency is about the same, much the same at 46 to 52%. And then the three point attempts. Oh, yeah, I shot three threes. No, two points. I'm sorry, I'm reading this wrong. The three point attempts. Wow, Giannis for his first year shot 34% from three is actually really ridiculous. And then Scotty Barnes shot at 30%. So honestly, pretty much fair margin. As you see, the stat comparison is pretty much even for the other stuff. And the field goal times are pretty much split. And then the game played basically, Giannis played a bit more, but I think Scotty played a bit less because he was injured a bit. But that's okay. Alright, so the total, let's break it down here. The numbers are pretty much the same. It's pretty much the, the per game totals, basically. And then the men's play, they basically got this. I don't really want to compare it to that per se. But let, let's see. Let's see here the true shooting percentage. Honestly, for you know what? Let's compare true shooting percentage. Alright, so Jan's at 51%. So honestly, the efficiency rate for true shooting at 53%. So he's pretty much there. And Sky's right over the margin at 52 So that's not even that bad. Um, what else can I compare? But honestly, Sky didn't make the. Jan didn't make the playoffs for his first season. That's fine. But honestly, let's compare his per 36 minutes. That's. Let's just break down. The usage rate. The usage rate, honestly, Giannis was used 50% of the time. As for Sky, he's used 19%. So that's pretty much fair, evenly. And then, the win share, they're pretty much the same at 1.2. But Sky Barnes has a higher win share, so that makes sense. Because Giannis was on a, re uh, on a winning team. And then, but yeah, Sky Barnes and Giannis are pretty much the same. So let's break down Giannis's second year in the NBA. It'll look pretty much better. Alright, the fourth and second year, numbers are pretty much similar, right on the bargain. Let's break this down. The point per game is pretty much similar in the 10 points per game average, as Giannis averaged 12 and Scotty averaged 15. And then Scotty Barnes got close to a block per game, with Giannis getting a block per game. And Giannis and Scotty basically averaged almost a steal per game, so that's pretty much fair. And then assists per game is pretty much similar at 2.6 and 3.5. And then the rebounding margin, that's them in a game apiece, that's pretty much fair. And the rebound that's 5 apiece, so that's not even that bad. And then the free, the free throw shooting is pretty much similar. This, this is where you're seeing the comparison to Scott, to, to Yaz and Scotty right here. The free throw percentage, Yaz shoots at 74 and Scotty shoots at 77 at 73. And this is for Yaz's second year, mind you. And he's not in the NBA yet. Like, he's not in as, a, as an MVP level player yet. So honestly, you're seeing the comparison. The free throw attempt, got to, Yaz got to line four times, Scotty got to line twice. And then the free throws per game, it's like he got three, two, and two, and pretty much, yeah. So honestly, what you're seeing is here. And if you'll go put something at 49 and 50%, then the three point arc, Yan shot a bit terribly. And then Sky shot at 30% because it's a rookie number. And then the field goal is pretty much like, look how even this is 49.2% and 41.2%. This is why they're calling Sky baby Yan on steroids. That's the right reason why they're calling Sky. Are you guys seeing it? The field goal percentage is pretty much the same. Like at 49.1 and 4.2%, it's the same, but on more, but on more attempts. So Scotty got more attempts than Giannis got left for his second season. Pretty crazy. And then, the, and then the minutes per game is pretty much the same. as got Giannis got more play time. And then the starters starting games at 70 to 74. And then the game started, Giannis played a bit more for full 81, 82, 81 seasons. All right, 81 games. All right. So, um, the thing I want to break down. 
Let's break down true shooting. That's a big stat. So honestly, look how now look how look. Are you guys seeing this the similar comparisons here? Are you guys seeing why they're comparing Giannis to Scotty Barnes as for right now? Like look at this. 55.2% on true shooting and that is effective. Like are you seeing this? This is ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> and the field goal fishy is right there, like it's right there up the par. This is crazy, man. Yeah, and then the playoff tolls, let's break down the playoff tolls. The playoff tolls, let's see this here. Let, so let's see this here. Yaz average 11.5, Scotty average 12. And he only played four games, Yaz played six. And they both lost in the first round. That's, you see, you see, do you guys see the similarities here? This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't care if the video does not go foul, we are seeing the similarities right now. The foul per game are the same, the turnovers are pretty much about the same, the block per game isn't all there, and then the steal is pretty much at one apiece, the rebound is a bit off, but Scotty has a bigger end. And then their free throw percentage, but their free throw percentage is saying for the playoffs, Sky shot at 8%, Yon shot at 73 when it matters, so Sky will get a better, better difference. The field goal attempts were pretty much off, but it's not even close, it's pretty much the same, and their field goal attempts are pretty much even as Sky played four games and Yon played six. So you gotta see the comparisons right now. And then for advanced stats, the true shooting is a bit off. And then the rebounding percentage at 11 per 16 percent, like, and the assist percent at almost at 15 to 20 percent. So it's not even that bad, man. Like, and the usage rate they got used about 18 to 20 percent. This is why I'm seeing why Sky is being compared to Giannis, that baby Giannis. This is, this is, why, this is why it makes sense. And the value of a person player doesn't mean much. So, yeah. So now we're seeing a comparison. But this bill's not done yet. I'm gonna break down one more season for Giannis to see his comparison. Giannis was not in the most improved player stage yet. This is when Giannis was right there. So basically, you see Giannis took a bit of a margin for points total. That's fine. At 16.9, Scotty has 15.3. Then, for a 3 point percentage, it's pretty much right there. How much there? As Giannis shot at 25% and Scotty shot at 30. That's pretty much reasonable. And then, the field goal attempts are pretty much even. And then the field goal per game they got was pretty much even. And the minutes per game pretty much even. Now you're seeing it pretty much the even stats now. Make sense? Um, the rebounding pretty much similar at like, and then the rebound percentage, the offensive rebound percentage is pretty much off, the defensive rebound is pretty much similar. The rebound per total is like right there, and the assist they pass it 15, 15 to 20%, that's not bad. And the offensive win share is 4.2 to 3.7, and defensive win share is 2.9 or 2.9. As for Yaz, the second or third year is pretty much similar to where Scotty is right now. So, honestly, like I said, give Scotty time, you'll see where it is now. Like, give Scotty more time, as he'll be where Giannis is for his next season. Give Scotty about two or three more seasons, he'll bulk up and be crazy. And then the true shooting is right there at 50, at 56 to 55.2, so it's not really off. Like, everything is right there. And then, yeah. So, you have to make a playoff. But are you guys seeing this? How, how close the stats are for Giannis and Scotty right here? Like, it's crazy. Like... And let's just, can, I, can I just compare the overall career numbers just finishes off, entire career numbers? Get to wrap this off and get my point because this is absolutely crazy. But on a career for Scotty and Giannis, basically, the the point per game that bit off as Giannis is the MVP, I'll give him that. And he shot, and he shot a three ball at 30% closely. And then the minutes per game is pretty much the same. And then we all know Giannis played more games than Scotty for 656 games. And then. The true shooting that almost 60 to 55%. So that's not bad. And then in the playoffs, let's see where it turns up. So Yas basically just blows Scotty Barnes out of the water here. Y'all see his stats as not even close. But honestly, I think for regular season numbers, as average to regular season to the playoffs for his first three years, it's pretty much comparable to Scotty as for his career numbers. Yas blows out the water. So honestly, that's why I'm thinking Yas is basically another version of Scotty, basically, because honestly, Scotty Barnes basically gets comparisons to Draymond Green, Matt Johnson, but I'll throw Giannis here because he basically can do everything. He shoots a three, he can get to the basket, he can play great defense, he can almost do anything. That's why many people are calling Scotty another version of Baby Giannis. So that makes sense now. Y'all seen the comparisons, that's why I broke it down here. So honestly, if you are new and you like the video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, if you're bored, any more of this video, and get my own thoughts to why Scotty Barnes and Giannis are even comparison for his, their first three years in the NBA. So those are my thoughts, and if you are new, Please, please, please like the video, it means a lot. 
and make sure to subscribe button because we're close to our subscribers. We're like five more away. As I'm recording this video, I don't know when I'll go up. So let's get this done. And it's your boy Demi on the road to our subscribers, and I'm out. Peace.